Hey friends, this is Mayan, founder of Archidev, and in this video, we're gonna learn how to implement MapKit in iOS project. So without any further ado, let's get started. So let's go to Xcode and create a new Xcode project and select single B application, click next. I will name it Map uh, App and I will say next. Now just create it. Now you need to go to your view controller file and add two modules. One is map kit and another one is core location all right now you go to your main or storyboard file and add a map view right here in your view controller like this and give it some constraints a little quick i'll give it zero 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 and zero i'll add these four constraints and i'll fix it like this okay okay so you need to go to your v controller file back and just make a reference like outlet of this map view inside your v controller file so just click control and drag it in a project and name it map okay all right now go back to your v controller file you have given a reference of your map view and you have imported these two modules now you need to go to view did load function and create an object named let location is equal to cl location coordinate 2d make and here you will add the latitude and longitude of your desired location which you want to point out in your map so here i have uh, an example for example i have new delhi so i have the coordinate of new delhi 28.5 6139 and another one is 77.2090 so i'll add it right here now i'll create a new object and its name is span it will be equal to mk coordinate span make and you guys must be wondering what is this what is this span so i'll be explaining you what is it exactly so let me explain you that so a span is the horizontal and the vertical span representing the amount of map to display. The span also defines the current zoom level used by the map view object. So basically span decides the representation of our map on our display. So I hope you guys got it. So let's make another object named region which will be equal to mk coordinate region make and I'll add the location right here another one is span which you have made and add it in your map map dot add set region and i'll add the region right here and anima animated will be true so now let's just build and run this and say iphone 7 plus i will just build and run this let's see how it works You can also decide what kind of map type you want to display on your device so right here you can also add the type of map map dot map type and it could be a satellite image a hybrid a hybrid flyover a standard image whatever you want here i will select satellite all right so let's see it takes time for the first time when it launches the simulator so just pair it with me for a minute okay it's going to start until it starts uh, we can also fix our code let's make it more clean and clear like just make a another function separate function naming map like this okay the simulator has been launched and just call this function and here in your computer load like this 
so here we have our simulator okay the same name is the function is same with the outlet so map uh, say point okay I think it's good now okay so as you can see here the map is about to load on our display and you'll be able to see the image all right right here you can see there is a map but it's, it's not quite clear to recognize what is it what is exactly displaying on the device let's build and run this project again so that we can have a satellite image too on our simulator maybe it would be much better than this let's see it takes time looks like it takes time to load yeah here you can see the clear image of your uh, pointed location that is new delhi but uh, if you want to add a point a pinpoint to show that you have located the situation you have located the location right there so you can add a uh, annotation also so how to add an annotation inside your you know this map so let's create an another object which will be named as annotation i will add it here let annotation annotation will be equal to mk point annotation type and annotation dot coordinate will be equal to the location so it the annotation what annotation will do it will just point out there on your location where you have located uh, the latitude and longitude of your desired point so here you add a location and you can also give a title to this annotation so that when you click on this annotation you can see what the city's name is or what the location's name is so annotation dot title will be equal to here we have taken the new delhi land and launch so i will write new delhi and add it in your map map dot add annotation add okay <clears throat> i'll write just let me make some space so that you can see what's going on in the picture map dot add annotation and i'll write annotation right here okay so let's build and run this app again and let's see how it works so the desired result would be you'll be having a location a pin pointed to that location and when you will click on that pin you will see the name of that location as well so it is a very basic example of how do you implement map inside your export project and i hope you guys like it so as you can see here is the annotation and yeah here we have a map having an annotation and when you will click on the annotation you will see a title that is New Delhi okay you can see there is a small font New Delhi written right below the annotation so that's how we use it and that's how we implement MapKit inside our Xcode project so I hope you liked the tutorial if you like the tutorial, please hit the like button down below and subscribe my channel for more such videos in the future. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.